PC2 Poor Sugar back with another video. But Sugar, you've been gone for too long and you said you quit your job. I don't understand why you've been gone for almost two weeks. Okay. For those of you all who do not know, my fancy camera, the T3i, was in the shop. The studio light fell on it, it knocked the camera on the floor, and as a result, I had to take it in to the Geek Squad. They couldn't repair it because it was so much damage done to it, so I was able to get a brand new camera. So thank God for warranties and all of that stuff. So now I'm broadcasting with a Canon 60D. I think I like that a little bit better than the, no, I know I like it more than the Canon T3i. Okay. I said to hear no there, child. Alright, so this video is going to be a makeup tutorial. But should you say you wasn't gonna ever do a makeup tutorial? And what's up with that? Okay, I have the right to change my mind. And plus, when I did video number 114, I received so much feedback on the makeup. So if you want to see how I did the makeup in video 114, it's real easy, only using three eyeshadows. Stay tuned. Lord, take 8,000 and it's 824 and I have to take the red box movie back in a few minutes. So this is going to be the last take, okay? So eyebrows done, lids primed, no foundation just yet. I took the painterly paint pot and I applied it all over my upper and lower lid. I added this dark base on the outer V to give more dimension when I get ready to apply the deeper, darker color. The first color is from the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 2. It's the color is YDK. And and I'm applying this gold color all over my upper lid. I'm going about three-fourths of the way over, but I'm staying below the crease. But should I don't have this gold color, what I'm supposed to do, look, any gold color will work just fine for this particular look. You don't have to spend all that money on these expensive makeup and go to the drugstore and make that thing work, okay? Taking that same color with a pencil brush and I'm applying it all over my lower lid. Now here comes that deep color. Love, love, love this Deep Truth by MAC. I'm applying this color on the outer V of my eye, okay? Kind of like towards the crease, okay? And make sure you only stay towards the outer part of the eye. I didn't want to go for a too dramatic look. Once the color has been laid, take you a blendy brush and blend that thing, honey, because you don't want there to be a line like, hey, here's one where, this is where one eye shadow stops and here's where another one begins. We don't want any of that. We wanted to blend it. Taking the same color with the pencil brush and I'm adding it to the lower lid, like in the corner and blending it out because say no to harsh lines, all right? Taking this color, Midnight Cowboy Rise Again, and I'm applying it underneath the brow bone. It has like flakes and it's sparkly and stuff. Taking that same blendy brush and I'm just doing like the windshield wiper motion and I'm just making sure there are no harsh lines. I took some more Deep Truth to give just a little bit more dimension and I put a little bit more of the YDK in the inner corner. But I had to, after the video was shot, I had to go in and kind of clean it up because it wasn't even on both sides. Hands down, the best eyeliner on the planet is Zero by Urban Decay. It's nice and soft. I put it on and I just kind of smushed it as you guys saw. I then take the same zero and I put it on my lower and upper waterline. Yes. And it gives us a little bit more drama. Ulta Amp Lashes for the mascara. Notice I'm not putting it on my bottoms just yet. I then took some of that, what is it, the Midnight Cowboy Rides again and I put it in the corner there. Clean up some of the fallout with one of those makeup white type situations and after I apply my concealer I then go in with my foundation makeup forever. Once it's all done I then put on my lower mascara. I then follow up with the MAC Prep and Prime so that you're not leaving your foundation all over everything and it kind of seals it in to give you more of a finished look. Alright, smile for the camera. Alright, MAC Format blush with the 168 brush and YSL pralines, and that is it for my look. Ow! That was quick, huh? <laughs> I told you it was easy, but should what's happening with your hair? All right, this is the wig. You guys have seen this before. I'll post the video somewhere that you can find it. This is a wig that was made by my sister Carm Baby. Yes. I paid for this wig with my own money, but she made this wig for me. You guys have seen it before. <laughs> I know how I feel. So here's the bag. 
And you can check out the other video and I'll post a link somewhere in this video. There's a side and it's really cute. Now that I know how to cornrow, go shit. I have a video coming up on that too. I'm just so excited with myself. So yeah, the earrings came from Muji Biju Sarone. I'll post the link in the description bar. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and subscribing. So I'll see you guys really soon. Be blessed. Peace. But Shug, we thought you was a natural hair channel, or an outfit of the day channel, or a side eye Saturday channel. <laughs> it's my cat <laughs> trying to cover the room. And we don't like your makeup <laughs> tutorials. We think that you suck. And there's enough people out here doing makeup tutorials, and we don't need you to be just polluting the internet with your stuff. And your eyeshadow was uneven on one side, like in the corner and stuff. Okay, I have something for you guys. On the count of three, you ready? Count along with me, come on y'all. One, two, three, whatever. Okay, anyway, <laughs> cause somebody gonna have something to say. Y'all already know how this stuff goes. All right, so if you want information on the colors that I use, I'll post the information in the description area. Click on this here video, I mean, I'm sorry, click on this here photograph and it'll take you to the video where I showed this particular wig originally. Information in the description bar with how you can go about purchasing your own wig, just like so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys like really soon because I'm going to crank out another video right now. All right, be blessed. Peace.